In this video, we got a small CRT set that's totally dead. Doesn't matter what brand, they all work the same way. This is pretty basic troubleshooting. Troubleshooting the horizontal drive and horizontal output section to determine where the fault is. It's an open resistor, I'll tell you that much right now. We're gonna check it out with both the meter and the scope to determine where the fault is. Let's check it out. TV's turned on. And it's dead. I have no high voltage. I have no sound. I have no picture. If I turn up the screen control on the back of the tube, I have nothing. So the first thing we need to do is I need to determine, because we know that the set's not working. I'm going to have to look at the power supply and make sure that I've got voltage on my power supply here. I'm going to go to the power supply here. So my raw B plus is 185 volts. I'm going to go to the regulator here. This is the regulator up here. The regulator on the base, it's 100 and, uh, 170, 184, and we've got 171 on the emitter. So the regulator's not regulating, but that be, would be expected because the set's not powering up. The first thing I need to do is I need to determine whether we've got horizontal output, which I don't hear anything running. I don't see any filaments lighting up. I have to assume that the horizontal output is not working, but I'm not going to put my meter onto the collector because if it was running, I'd have about 900 volts peak to peak. And the maximum that my meter can handle safely is 600 volts. If I go over 600 volts, I'm going to blow the spark gap in my meter and then my meter is going to be shot. So I'm going to go back one stage. I'm going to go back to the horizontal drive transformer, which is down here and it is fed with 170 volts. I've got 170 volts, 101 volts, because it goes through a resistor, R416. That's a dropping resistor for the horizontal drive transformer. And my horizontal drive transformer has got 99 volts on one side. So I think maybe the oscillator is probably running, but we'll check it with the scope. Because if it wasn't running, I'd have the same voltage, right? If, I, if the oscillator wasn't going at all, and I checked the primary side, I've got 101 volts on one side, and I got 99 on the other, so I think probably the oscillator is going because there is a voltage drop across there. We can prove that pretty quick by hooking up a scope and we'll scope the collector. We have drive. That's our horizontal drive. So every time this pulses up and down, it's a square wave. It's supposed to be a square wave. This little kick is from induction in the primary of the horizontal drive transformer. But every time that transitions we should have a pulse. This should be one horizontal line. So we know that the the oscillator is running. So if we go to the secondary side of the of the transformer which is here, I think that's it, we look at it and we see that we do have a drive signal. Now this drive signal is going to the base of the horizontal output transistor. So if we go up to the horizontal output transistor we'll see that we have the same signal. Therefore, the set should be running, but it's not. Now, we could have a bad horizontal output transistor, but typically when they fail, they're going to short. And when they short, they're gonna blow the fuse because it's gonna dump, the entire B plus is gonna dump through that transistor. It's gonna overload the power supply and blow the fuse or burn out one of the, uh, burn out a resistor. If I go to the collector, I see that I've got the same thing. So this is the signal that's actually making it through the transistor from the base drive. Therefore, I know that I've got no voltage on there. Now I can put my meter on and I can measure the voltage. So I've measured it with my scope. I know there's no dangerous voltage there because my scope can handle 1,000 volts easy, easy with a times 10 probe. I put my meter on there and I've got no, like negative 0.3 volts. That goes back to the flyback transformer. So I go back to the flyback transformer. I, I, I don't have a schematic for this set, but I know that flyback transformers, the way that they're constructed is typically you have your primary on one side and your secondary winding where your low voltages are generated for the rest of the set on the other side. So my collector here goes in through here, through this pin. There's zero volts. There's zero volts here and there's zero volts here. These are gonna be the, tied to the primary side. I'm, 
pretty sure. Um, this goes down through, this is probably the input here, goes down through this coil and there's a resistor across this coil that's going to be to dampen out any uh, ripple and there's another resistor here and I got 0.35 volts and on the other side of this resistor I have 170 so that resistor is open so let's go in replace it's this one right in there it's a little red resistor here we're gonna put the scope back on it and do this the right way we're gonna look and see whether we've got our horizontal drive back our horizontal output back so I'm gonna hook the scope back up and in this case I'm gonna I'm gonna take it down to like all the way down to a thousand volts and hook my scope back up to the horizontal output transistor and turn the set on and there's my there's my thousand volt peak thousand volts peak to peaker but 900 and something volts peak to peak so we've got the horizontal drive back and that has fixed this fault plug it back in and we have a picture so remember that if you're troubleshooting horizontal section, if you have if your TV is dead completely and you've got no uh, picture whatsoever, the first thing you need to do is determine if your horizontal um, output is working. You don't measure that with your meter directly because if it is running, because there are other reasons why you may not have a picture, you may have no vertical and it's muting the, the screen because some televisions when the vertical is lost, you'll just have a white line across the middle of the screen, which is the dead giveaway. Other sets, when there's loss of vertical drive, the picture gets muted because that line will burn, a permanent burn in the tube in no time if it's left to run. So some sets will actually blank the picture if it loses drive. Okay, that's, um, that's how to troubleshoot the horizontal section. Again, when you're troubleshooting horizontal, you want to make sure, use, uh, you need a scope if you're gonna measure the output for sure. But you can measure the drive transformer, make sure that there's voltage to the drive, make sure the drive signal's there. Uh, if the drive signal's not there, then you gotta look in the drive circuitry. Um, quite often if the drive transformer comes unsoldered and you lose horizontal drive while the set is running, it will cause destruction of the horizontal output transistor. So the drive transformer should always be inspected to make sure that the solder connections aren't broken on that because that was a real common problem. You'd uh, break, the solder connections would break on the horizontal drive transformer and that would ultimately cause the output transistor to short and uh, then you'd end up with a dead set. Anyway, this one here, we lost our B plus supply to the input of the primary for the flyback. That's a fusible resistor that's in there. It's one that's designed that, that if the flyback transformer were to start drawing too much power, uh, not enough power to blow the fuse, but enough power to draw too much current, it would cause that resistor to go open. Hope you enjoyed this video. Down in the heart of the beat, we're rolling tonight. Twelve all vids got the spark, everything's all right. From cars to the sounds that make you feel free. We're grateful for the love, you're the family. Late nights and bright lights, cruising the lane with every video drop. You're calling our name, so we sing it loud, let the world hear our sound.